Hey guys, Travis here with DFS Karma. I want to do a quick video showing you the basics of how to use our brand new optimizer that we've just recently built into our site. Finally, uh, thanks to our partners at SaberSim. Now, the first thing you want to do once you get to this optimizer screen is you want to select a sport that you are creating optimized lineups for, uh, whether it's you know, MLB, NBA, all the way down here to, uh, to soccer. Whatever sport you're building lineups for, select that sport there. The next thing, of course, you pick the date. Just make sure the date is the exact date that you're trying to build lineups for. Select the site, whether it's DraftKings, FanDuel, Yahoo, Fantasy Draft, or even uh, Super Draft, which is something they're building in, um, hopefully here in the in the near future. Select what slate, not just the main slate. They also offer sh single game showdowns. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, how the heck do I get access to this amazing optimizer? Well, let me show you. Uh, so you got to go to DFSKarma.com. So go to your browser right now, go to dfs.karma.com, you click on subscriptions, and that's going to take you to every single subscription that we offer. And then once you have access, all you have to do every single day, just click on optimizer. So if you click on subscriptions, you'll see two packages clearly titled that they have optimizer access, MVP plus optimizer, and then just the optimizer in itself. Now the MVP, you should know by now, has every single uh, sport core play and monkey knife fight and price fix play in it. So you just kind of bundle them together. If you do get them uh, as the bundle, you do save some money per month. Uh, so yeah, once you sign up for access, whether it's the MVP plus optimizer or optimizer by itself, all you got to do after that, just click on optimizer. It's easy peasy lemon squeezy. So now that we've signed up, we have access to the optimizer, then first thing you want to pay attention to is projections. The SS projection is SaberSim projection. That is how, uh, that's their simulation uh, projections they have built in. Karma projections are manually entered ones that our expert put together. The average is, of course, the average of the two. And the my projections is what is being used to uh, build the optimized lineups. So if you select SaberSim, you will only get the simulation projections uh, your lineups build on the simulation projections. If you select DFS Karma, your optimized lineups will focus on DFS Karma's projections. If you select average, your DF DFS optimized lineups will focus on the average of the two. So you select if you want to focus on the simulation, if you want to focus on not. Uh, now, if you want to completely fade someone from all of the lineups, you don't want to have you know, Fernando in any of your lineups, you can click uncheck that check mark and he will be faded completely from your single lineup. If you want him to be in every single lineup, if you want to lock him in, just click on the lock button. Simple as that. So you can lock and exclude players with those two little toggles there. Uh, so we're ready to build some lineups. So click on the new build button and you'll see uh, a few different options here. So the first thing you want to do is pick on what style of contest you're entering. Are you entering 20 lineups into a GPP, a cash lineup multiplier satellite where you have to get first place to win a ticket? Um, so you select that. So for this example, we're going to go ahead and select uh, GPP. And then we're going to say it's going to be 20 max. So you can create one lineup at a time, three lineups, or 20. Now, I know that it shows 150 there, uh, but that's going to be on a future uh, package we'll be releasing out. It's going to have a lot more tools in it um, or just a lot more lineup capabilities. But for this one, for the one that we've uh, released right now, you can only build 20 at a time. Uh, so you, you, mean you can still enter 150 lineup contest, just build 20 at a time. So you can select how many entrants are in there. You can choose, do I want lineups to have batters versus pitchers? Uh, what's the minimum projection for each player in my lineup, maximum exposure. You can toggle all that stuff to your heart's desire. Now, the way the SaberSim optimizer is the top in the industry, they have these, they have tons of extra things uh, boiled under this, uh, this product here. And of course, one of them are these advanced settings. So if you click on cash, he's just shown there are all these three are toggled all the way to the left because you're just creating a lineup based on projections alone. But in GPP, you got to get a little more creative. So you got to have, you know, ownership fades, you have to have uh, diversity, correlation. So you can toggle which the, uh, which way you want to go for, you know, what your, what your goal is for the GPP contest. You're looking to cash, you're looking to take it down. Um, and so you can kind of do uh, the variance on that. Now, there's also a stacking rule. Click on stacking. You can uh, see it says here three players from the same team at least. And by default, all of the teams are included. So if you only want to have three players from the same team from one team, just let's say the Rockies, for example, you would have to untoggle or click on every single other team so they're not included. Or if you want to make sure that you do not have a stack from one particular team, just go here and just unclick that team and they won't be included. Uh, so we have all this stuff set up. What we're going to do now is we're going to click on build your lineup pool. So we've had all these little intricacies built in. We are now building our lineups and you see there's a little loading bar here that uh, once it gets to 100%, it will pop out all your lineups. And uh, let's just wait till that happens here. Boom. Now, 
let's go into some more things. The first thing I want you to look at on the screen is the pool size. You see it says 1000 next to pool size. This optimizer did not just build 20 lineups. It built 1000 lineups based on all of your, um, you know, your, your locking and excluding people and the exposure, all that stuff. Uh, so it actually built 1000 lineups based on what you, what information you gave the system. You can scroll on the right. You can see all of the, um, it's only going to show you 20 lineups, but the pool is a thousand. And I'll show you what that means here in a second. So you can, right now they're sorted by Sabre score. Uh, you can change that little toggle at the top. If you want to sort them by the actual projection score, um, just to see, you know, what top, what pops up on top. Is, is this kind of what you're looking for when you're building your lineups, which, uh, you know, just go, go through all 20 and make sure that's kind of what you're looking at. Now, let's say, for example, uh, oh, you, you have the stacks here as well. So this saying this lineup right now has, is using 49,600 salary and it's got a 5-3 stack in it. Uh, but let's say that you're looking at your exposure of players and somebody's just way too high. So let's just bring our attention over here to the left. Uh, so we're looking here to the left right now. We're seeing that uh, Trent has a 95% exposure. He's in 19 out of our 20 lineups. Let's just say for argument's sake, that's way too high. And we want to lessen that all the way down to a max exposure of 70%. So you type in 70% right here. And as soon as you click away, it'll automatically spit out 20 lineups based on that. Like it's not going to, you don't have to go through and just keep doing this over and over and over again and keep recreating lineups. Because remember, the system created 1,000 lineups for you. And so as soon as you tweak something here, it'll pull a different 20 out of that 1,000 based on your tweaks. So now we said these two players are going to be capped at 70%. So it's just going to pull 20 lineups, the best 20 lineups out of this pool of 1,000 with those two uh, max exposure caps on there. Then as soon as you do that, all you're going to do is click on download and you will download a CSV file of all 20 lineups. So let's go over to DraftKings and show you how to upload these files uh, in case you have not done that before. So you can scroll through, see all your lineups, check them all there. It's, yeah, 20 there. You click on download and then you download the CSV file. Let's over to DraftKings. Now, I know I just did MLB, but for this example, I'm just gonna upload uh, a CSV file I just did of uh, 20 NBA lineups um, for today's slate. So I click on lineups. The first thing you do after you click on lineups is you simply click upload lineups. This button right there says upload lineups on it. Click on that, and then it's gonna prompt you on the far right to upload lineups. You gotta click that green button, upload CSV, and then you just upload your file. So find your file wherever you download it to from uh, from the optimizer. Click on that, and then boom, it'll automatically populate. Successfully uploaded 20 out of 20. You uploaded lineups that are compatible with the slate, uh, with the 4 p.m. slate for today. And then when to view them to make sure that it's all fine and dandy, just click on lineups, and boom, they're all there. You will see all 20 lineups that you have built with the DFS Karma optimizer in all their glory. And then you simply can start you know, adding them into contests. Simple as that. So that is how you create lineups with our optimizer and put it into your DraftKings.